My name is Samantha Parrish and I am in Girl Scouts Troop 221 and I'm in the Girl Scout Troop Brown Knees and I've been in trying to earn two badges over the two past weeks. So, oh, oh, I needed my great day badge. And first, I did set your alarm, and, and, and that's what this sheet is for. And I set my alarm for uh, the 12 days. So everything I'm going to be doing is for those past 12 weeks. Two weeks. Two, <laughs> two weeks. Okay, so... Oh, did you do something else on step one too? And also, I did make my bed on step one. Good job. Here it is. And that's the two things I did for step one. Samantha, what are those? Are those calendars? Yep, those are calendars for February 2015. And what did you do on those calendars? And on those calendars, I marked off the days that I made my bed and, and did my alarm. Mm -hmm. So you checked it off and initialed it, right? Uh-huh. Cool. So I on um, step two, I sorted in my school supplies because, and this is how, and this is the paper for it. Uh, I made a list of edits I needed to make to school every day, and then I cho chose a place to be your school setup area. Samantha, can you put the um, book down for a second and, and talk about what's on your calendar? On my calendar is whether I have my glasses, lunchbox, homework folder, backpack, or library book. Weekends. Uh -huh, on the weekends. And then what happened this week for school? And this week for school, it's been three sick days straight in no, and out. No, not sick days, snow days. Snow days. That's right. Okay, you can put that down now. Pick up your, your badge folder again and go back to where you left off. Okay, on set threes it says make homework degrees. I trade in my homework space, which is right there. I made a picture of mommy and me, and then I made some pentagons. And then I had a heart stuffed animal. And I was working on that. That's going to be late Valentine's Day presents. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so. What else do you have on your desk there? And on my desk, I have, I have my eraser, my crayon box, my pencil box, and my measuring thing. Mm -hmm. What about a computer? You got your computer there? Oh, and I have, I have the mommy's assist, my mom's assistant's computer, and that... We'll be talking about that later when we go on to my second batch folder. Next step for plan ahead. I I helped make a grocery list every time we needed to go to a grocery shop. Pop and I helped find the things. And I also got to choose a new cereal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called Cinnamon Toast Crunch, my favorite. I awesome. had school once. All right, what's step, the last thing? The step five is help others get organized. I helped work 
pumpkin ice, two freezers, and the bottom of our pantry. Two freezers and the bottom of our pantry. That's right. Yep. Good job. Okay. Now you can put that one aside. Now it's it's time for the next bag for our pets. When you're a good friend to a pet, a pet will be a great friend to you. Okay. Step one: find out what care a different pet needs. I. They say that pets are different as the people who love them. And I played pet bingo at a pet store. Mm -hmm. What did you draw in the middle of your pet bingo card? And then in the middle of the pet bingo card, I drawed a bearded dragon. And we have this bearded dragon. His name is Iggy. We have a bearded dragon and his name is Iggy? Yes. Okay. was really fun. Oh, hold on. Go back. What did you have to do for pet bingo? Did you have to pick three animals? Oh yeah. I picked three animals. A hamster, a bear, a dragon, and a bird. And uh, I played... And, and then this is, is what these three papers are for. So for each of those animals, you have a piece of paper, right? Yeah. And there are questions on, the same questions on each paper. Uh-huh. For the hamster, it's asked, how much does it cost to care for this pet? Asked the staff for help, it said 10 to 15 months. Okay, you don't have to read all the answers because you're going to turn that in if they want to see it, okay? But you uh -huh. can just read the questions that are on the page. Two, how much space does this pet need? I answered that one. Number three? Number three, how much food does this pet need? Number four, what kind of human contact does this pet like? So you have one of those sheets for all three pets? Yep. And for uh, our bearded dragon, Iggy. And for? And for the bird. It awesome. Says, how much does it cost to care for this pet? How much space does this pet need? How much food does this pet need? And what kind of human contact does this pet Right, like? the same okay. questions are on all three, right? Yep. Okay, let's move on to step two. Okay, step two was keep a pet comfy. Be the I chose to be the cage or tank in there for our pet Iggy yeah, and uh, and I clean out the pool and it really stinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty horrible job because it stinks <laughs> but it's worth it because I'm the one who wanted the bearded dragon so it's worth it. So I can so step three. Can, did, can you show your calendar for your bearded dragon oh, clean in the my tank? My calendar, right. This is is the cat calendar for Clean Iggy's tank. It was the step two choice one. Be the cage or tank cleaner. Holla. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So oh, I he did the same thing like over the past two weeks. So every time you cleaned out his tank, what did you do to that sheet? Um, I did my initials and put a check over top. Good job. And then I did find out how to keep different pets looking good. Pick three pets and find out how often they have to be washed or brushed or any special care tips. Then try out what you've learned by grooming a pet. That's step three, right? Yeah. And, and so we went to this website called www.google.com. And, and then we typed in how to take care of a bearded dragon. And then and it lists to www.wikihow.com care for beard dragons that's what it led us to and then we read beard 
Wash once a week, trim toenails every few weeks, and feed animals of appropriate size. <laughs> that means that Emmett can be bigger than Iggy's mouth. Nope, between his two eyes, um, remember? What happens if a, if a bearded dragon eats things that are bigger than the space between his two eyes? What could happen to him? He could get sick or something. Could that cause paralysis in his back legs? Yeah. Mm hmm. Or a blockage, yeah. Yeah, that's really bad, guys. Okay, so. Oh. What other two animals did you research? I also researched cats and dogs. Okay. All right, you're going to turn that in so you don't have to go through that on the camera, okay? okay. You can go on to your next step. Okay. The, the next step is make a pet feel loved. Pets need, it says pets need attention, hugs, and kind words as well as lots of time to have fun and play. Learning to be a good pet owner is like learning to be a good parent. And I chose step three. Learn about how three different kinds of pets communicate their feelings. Now this was the best part of, of the pet thing because as I he got to play like a happy dog or cat or happy. What's that called? What game did we play? Um, I forgot. Charades. Charades. Oh yeah, we played charades, and I was the animal. I either acted as a happy, sad, scared, maybe anything, an animal or whatever. Okay, step. Five was feed a pet. It says one of the most important responsibilities of a pet is eating what can eat. And of course, making sure their food is ready when the pet gets hungry. And now I did the third choice, make a pet budget for two pets. And I added up how much it cost to feed two different pets for one month. I thought about regular food and any extra such as treats and vitamins. It says, does the cost surprise you? Did you sh did you fill out a sheet on cost? Uh, Go over that sheet. Yep. It was pet step five, choice three. And, and be it says bearded dragon. Three cost $30. And greens cost 12. 30, 3 plus 1 equals 4, so it would be 40. 2 more would equal 42. So I put it equal $42. And the one I got is just for choice 1. And what other animals did you pick? I also picked fish. And why did you pick fish? I picked fish because we have fish in our house. And what type of fish do we have in our house? We have Clownfish. Well, no, are they saltwater fish or do we have a freshwater fish tank? We have saltwater fish. Should we have clownfish? We have a puffer fish that's getting better from the ick, which <laughs> it's is called, kind of sick. Well, it's called the ick if it's a freshwater tank. If it's a saltwater tank, it's called crypto. Okay, so it's crypto. And so the fish eats krill, flakes, veggie wop, wafers and seaweed pellets. Now, 10 plus 20 equals 30, right? Now, add 1, that equals 40. 16, 40. And that's 6, 4, 6. Isn't that so, like, easy? Awesome. So, what, what do you have to say? Do you have to say anything else in conclusion about the last two weeks and what you've been working so hard for to earn your badges? really hard work. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. Are you excited Even to be the done? Time things are really hard. Okay. Even the pet trades. All right, so here I'm going to let you show everybody your beautiful, beautiful pet bearded dragon, Iggy. This is Iggy, everybody. Say hi, Iggy. Hi. Iggy's probably surprised of what that huge thing is. See, it's a big he, camera. 
<laughs> we gave him a bath. And oh yeah, you forgot to tell them that on oh, the part where you on the part where, where you had to do research about taking care of three animals and grooming them. Did you give Iggy a bath? Oh yeah, we gave him a bath, and he just stood like a statue, saying, "What is it? What is this?" Did he What's like the happening? water? He liked the water. It was though. nice and warm. Yeah, it was. And how big will Iggy get, Samantha? And Iggy is going to get about that wide, I About think. two feet? Two feet. Not wide, two feet long. <laughs> yeah, two feet long. And how? when did we get Iggy, do you remember? We, we got Iggy on, I think it was December or January. What's Mommy's favorite number? 27. December 27th. December. We got Iggy on December 27th. Two days after Christmas. Two yep. days after Christmas. Okay, so you're all done. So what do you have to say? Hey guys, this was Samantha Ray A. Parish about earning my two badges for pets and... My great day. <laughs> my good day. And... And uh, we'll, we'll see you see next you. time. See you next time uh, in this video. Bye. <laughs>